2010's Brazil Butt Lift by Beachbody Incorporated, the same company that gave us P90X, Body Beast, and that cartilage-destroying insanity workout, also decided to ram an ice pick into our cerebral cortex with a myriad of desperate attempts to add depth to the company's workout catalog. This is one such story. Now, seeing as the honest and never untrustworthy media assures us that we're all going to die any day now from the latest Andromeda strain, it seemed a good time as any to do a review of Brazil Butt Lift, a workout program I have long touted as a harbinger of death. So what's my beef with this program anyway? Is it because the workouts look like they were filmed in 1986, the women have less self-worth than a hand-me-down blow-up doll, or the fact that Leandro looks like a bag of oatmeal with eyebrows? Well, it's never one thing, is it? But what Brazil Butt Lift does with absolute precision is create the perfect storm of everything a workout program should strive to avoid. So grab your Timbits and a double-double, and let's get down to business. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! For those which might need a quick update on who exactly Beachbody is, they are a billion-dollar fitness industry Godzilla monster that sells DVDs, overpriced vitamins, and various fitness equipment you can most assuredly live without. To get a better feel for what the company was like back in 2010, we need to take a stroll down memory lane. Imagine, if you will, that somewhere in California we walk up to a nice house on the corner. Who lives there? Well, it's our good friend Mr. Beachbody. Why don't we knock on the door and ask to borrow some sugar? Well, hey, Tony Horton answers the door, because this is back when he hasn't gone off and done next level, which is harder to get than employment with a gender studies degree. Back here, he's got this little ditty called P90X he wants to tell you about. And oh, look over there, it's the Fresh Prince. Oh, sorry, I mean, it's Sean T entertaining guests with insanity. And Shailene Johnson is, well, who friggin' cares. It's a pretty swell hoot nanny all in all, and Big Daddy Carl Deichler wants to add to the mix, because more is better, you see. And he's tired of Tony hogging all the whiskey for himself. And then Carl gets to thinking. You know, if Tony over there ever wandered out into the street and got hit by a garbage truck, this party is over. And I'll be the only one left to clean the puke up off the carpet. So, what to do? Well, we've already got a white Italian. Shanti is young and all up with it, yo, and Shailene fits the irritating blonde demographic. What we need is something decidedly ethnic. You know, off-white. And then the crowd goes wild. Brazilian! Of course! Those bronze soccer hooligans are producers of two of the hottest commodity everybody loves. Shaved cats and coffee. So from the throne, King Carl pronounces to the masses, kill every baby in Bethlehem under two years old and bring me back a Brazilian. And lo, it was so. And what we got was something that should give us all a life lesson to consider. That when it comes to making wishes, you should, like, be more specific, you know? <laughs> of the fitness programs I've written, you might be surprised to know that Brazil Butt Lift made the top five requested. And I guarantee it wasn't because people were excited about Leandro Carvalho, parading women on camera like an Egyptian cattle auction. I feel that rather they got a twisted pleasure out of my suffering. If you do a Google search for this fitness series, you're going to be initially flooded with the ramblings from a quasi-parallel universe, where people sing praises to Brazil butt lift like offerings to a false Canaanite god. So they have either sold their souls to eternal damnation or are certifiably high. What are you people? On dope? Well, I have some unfortunate and late-breaking news for all of you. All of these people singing praises are coaches. Beachbody has an army of multi-level marketing clones, which they playfully call coaches. Well, if you don't know what a coach is, then let me explain. Let's clear some definitions out of the way first. Team Beachbody coaches are not coaches. They are not trainers. They are multi-level marketing salesmen. Like every other MLM, they will sadly deny this with a straight face. And if you're at the bottom of this pyramid, you're financially better off spending an hour a week picking cans out of a ditch. On the tragic off chance you're wondering if there are any qualifications to being a coach, I have rather excellent news. There are none. Because if I could become a rabbi to the first synagogue of badassery, then you too could become a coach even if you couldn't handle a senior's bowling tournament with half the participants being dead. All it takes is filling out the form and making sure the check clears. Honestly, since I am not now, nor ever have been, nor ever will be a coach, it also means I can scoop out the rotting carcass of the dead dog and try not to convince you it's ice cream. Brazil Butt Lift is one of many tragic missteps on the long road to fitness video dominance. Not because the videos themselves are awful, but because the trainer is just so... Leandro. And for the record, you are expected to endure his seemingly chemically induced happiness for 60 solid days. Now, I'm not saying Leandro is the worst thing to ever hit home video fitness, because that would be decidedly unfair. 
and maybe in a different venue he could work, but not here. Another problem is the production. If you have a tendency towards epilepsy, might I advise you taking a hard pass because the constant cuts to girls dancing on the beach was starting to give me micro seizures. I can see the rationale for doing this, it's just that the execution was as awkward as prom sex. You see, the message is that this is Brazil, and this is what our women look like. Your women? Fat, pasty whales with inexplicable patriarchy issues. And while the ladies do offer a glimpse of a better world in the current apocalyptic hellhole we're currently struggling to get through, the problem that there's a snake in paradise. Leandro emerges and is constantly trying to grind it with the babes like a horny Mr. Potato Head. It's like watching my high school graduation dance and seeing the hot girl ignore me only to make out with a guy who was half a foot shorter and packing a baker's dozen of STDs. But my regressed teenage memories notwithstanding, that's kind of what it feels like. A creepy, balding, short guy dancing with the hot babes while we are somehow supposed to find that amusing. And I feel bad here because I'm sure when you peel away his personal website that tells you how to make your pogo stick harder than Thor's hammer, or how to best attract those big bums, and yes, how to have proper porn star fitness, or best practices for dealing with penis diseases, okay, that sends up a few red flags. Look, I'm sure Leandro is someone who we would love and trust and maybe even take our teenage daughter and her friends around town in his 87 Chevy Astrovan. Show them around and say, hey, don't you kids worry about getting home too early. So what does one get when they inflict this upon themselves? Well, the format of Brazil Buttlift follows a simple cardio and bodyweight exercises, combined with the often distracting cutaways to young ladies dancing on the beach or at a beach house. Sometimes the angel of death descends like a shroud and we get to watch Leandro grind it with the ladies with all the cringe of watching your 50-year-old uncle try to show everyone at Jakob's bar mitzvah that, hey, he still got it. The workout theory here, if it's even fair to call it that, is to get the finest, most exquisite ass you've ever had. And with classy workout names like High and Tight, Bum Bum, Bum Bum Rapido, Cardio Axe, Tummy Tuck, well, you know, the queen herself would be right at home. And the thing is, it's not like this program won't work. I mean, the fact is, if you do enough cardio, squats, leg lifts, and watch your diet, you're going to get a good backside no matter who's barking at you from the screen. So I'm not going to sit here and say it's a waste of time to do these things. So there you go. You happy, Leandro? If people follow your program to the letter, then yes, I highly expect the backside coming out of the other side of the Brazil butt lift machine will be in better shape than the one going in, assuming you're not already working out your legs regularly. So don't think I'm saying this does nothing. All workouts do something. The question I'm presenting is, can you find a better way? And since art is highly subjective, only you can answer that question for yourself. It's your gym, and it's your time. So when you finally down enough whiskey to drop Paul Bunyan in a ray to press play, several things are going to hit you like a Canadian moose going right through your windshield. First, Leandro is just so happy. Okay, I knew this guy Al, who was a roomie of mine when I was working at a ski resort in my late teens. Now that guy was happy, and all of it, all of it was thanks to a cocktail of Lord knows what. Look, all I know is that the metal cutlery left an aftertaste of burnt heroin. If anybody approached me in public who was this slap-happy cheerful, I would honestly pray I was in a concealed carry state. In terms of difficulty, Brazil butt lift is classified as a beginner-level workout, which makes sense because I can't see elite athletes putting their CrossFit rituals on hold to grind it with Leandro and the girls. But I can't deny there's something about Brazil butt lift that attracts a particular demographic drawn to fitness cheese like a starving rat to a block of molding cheddar on a dead hobo. Or maybe we all just like a good sideshow because Leandro comes off nuttier than a circus elephant's dump. So who is this for? Well, Brazil butt lift is for the perimenopausal woman who thought Taibo was a real martial art, posts before and after pictures of their backside on Facebook to prove that they have a shadow of their youth, and were able to guilt their beta husbands in naming their daughter Dakota. It's for the man over 40 who still wears relaxed fit light wash jeans with a fanny pack and tries to get to the mailbox before his wife so he can hide his Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition and avoid those long, lonely silences in bed as she stares vengeful daggers into the back of his sleeping skull. And so it ends. The black night breaks, and a new day promises us the cleaning waters from the sins of yesterday. Yes, the scars remain, and the painful memories will take time to heal. But we must heal, for if we don't, it is Brazil Butliff that will claim the victory. Sometimes the fight feels to be too much and we are contending with not one, not two, but three incarnations of Brazil butt lift that prompt the innocent of this world to wave an accusatory finger in the air and ask why? Why, if there is a loving God, can something like this be allowed to happen? To that, I too struggle to find a reason. Sometimes it feels like the only answer is the cold silence of an empty universe.
devoid of any reason for love or joy. And then I think maybe, maybe something like Brazil Buttlift exists for a reason. Like a pearl is most beautiful when shown against Black Velvet or Superman 2 against Superman 3. The beauty of programs like P90X can be better appreciated when contrasted against a dumpster fire of misery. Maybe, maybe God reached down from heaven and said, Hero oh man, lo unto thee, to the pinnacle of my creation, I present a box set of Brazil butt lift, that by its tainted nature, you can more clearly see the good that is in this world. And in turn, go forth, be fruitful, multiply, and Brazil butt lift no more.